Hey people, Indrid here. Age of Wonders 4, innit? It's been a while. Unfortunately, I was waylaid by unpleasantness and hospital things for a while. But we're back. It's been about two weeks, I think, since I played this game. About a week or so since the last episode went up. And we are winning the seal victory at the moment. 25 turns we win. A lot can happen in 25 turns. Namely, Procella can declare on us. Which I'm still assuming they will do once we get closer to victory, maybe. Someone did say in the comments that you do indeed get alliance victory with the seal stuff. Which seems weird to me that they don't combine your seal score and, and make it and increase the target for allies and that kind of thing. Let's look around our army, shall we? You guys are defending the seal to the north. So are you. Right, Cedric got this shrine and is trying to take it. Their plan was to get this seal, but Mariel took it. In hindsight, I probably should have kept them here. Because this is a hell of a fight. Nisara's taking Stronghold. Which I would have loved to get myself. Now, do I back off this seal here? Because they have four ironclads. And I can't even imagine what kind of enchantments and things these guys have now. Warding metals. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a really tough fight. They have heroes here, I think, don't they? And they have a bloody dragon as well. Transmuters that can stun my things. Yeah, level 13 hero. Not often you see AI with heroes that high. I guess that's a side effect of the world threat being up. They have 28 units here, I think, against my 18. That's not very good odds, even though I have a lot of healing. Hmm... But if I back off, I'm just going to need to take the seal from them again, aren't I? Do I still win if I don't have this seal? Because I have four. Yeah, I probably still do. And hopefully when I back off, they make a mistake in their movement or something. Or Nisara can help. I really don't like that fight with all the ironclads. That... It's because they can focus down Caliph, because Caliph doesn't... Yeah, they only have 6-6 six, six defences. They don't have great defences. They have a lot of hit points, but they could easily be one turn killed still if they get good positions on me. And I'm not great at fighting constructs. Do they have Blight Resistance constructs? No, they just have Electric Shock Weakness. And they don't actually have good defences either, these guys. These ironclads. They're going to be a huge pain in the ass. Hmm. Is it worth going for it? Now, the upside of the fight is obviously getting a bunch of XP. And we get a bunch of gold for killing stuff. And we need gold. So I'm trying to save up for a new hero. This fella here. Wilf. With his jinx. And that misfortune that was buffed in the wolf update. Now fumbling makes you take damage, so we could turn this guy into a, into a tank, perhaps. Which would be cool. We got this seal in the north here that needs to be defended. I think we are sending defences to it. And where's Swamp Thicket? I think Swamp Thicket, which ironically isn't a swamp. Yeah, you have problems. Now, we could spend Imperium to get this, which would solve all of their stability problems. It doesn't help our cities with actual swamps because all of the swamps clears out the forests. There's this. It might be time to call upon the bandits that roam the edges of the swamps to help us out. To say, hey fellas, we need to defend these seals. They say, what's that? We give you some food. Don't worry. It'll be fine. There's also this. The bad thing about pressing these buttons is they would eat into my upkeep and I'm trying to save for that guy. So maybe we do just pop this. We do have a bunch of cities that are not swamps. And the swamp thicket, yeah, is now fine. And once this kicks in, it'll be even more fine. There's also something I've been neglecting. If we go to a swamp city like the Old Bog and look at Garden of Bliss. Now it says, first of all, it gives you stability off the bat, which is nice. And it says plus three food per adjacent grasslands. Now I assumed that swamps 
cleared the grasslands, but it doesn't. These are swamps and grasslands, so that's a huge amount of food for us. So that'll be something worth grabbing, and the stability is great. You stay here. Sacred root. We do not want to produce anything because we need you to be getting the merchandise. What's this? All right. I must have already boosted you in the last episode because it's not letting me do it now. An evil presence lingers. All right. We want this army to reinforce Pitriv and hopefully clear that bloody thing. Ghost chips and krakens have been harassing us for ages. Mariel stacked up on Blade Hollow. But what do we do about this? Is there a way I can make this fight better for me? No. Because these guys can't go into the water. If I do that, it brings in... Mm, would that be a water fight then? Not sure, actually. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Alright, awaken the forest. I can get some units that way. I don't think it needs to be my province either. That could be worth doing. We have tons of mana. Would be like four, four or five turns of channeling it though. We're just going to sit here. Eureka's going to attack us and we're going to try and fight them off effectively. Using my healing prowess, I think. And avoiding the ironclads. Okay, here we go. A risky battle. I think the auto will be victorious, but it will lose so many units. And then the follow-up attack murders us. Shall we see what it does? It's taking its time. Yeah, lost an entire stack and then four units from the others. It didn't kill my heroes, though. Leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units against ten. It's not that bad, but we are going to try and do better. Try and do better. And that level 13 hero got away, which I don't like. What is that? Summon Spider Monarch? Summons a random tier for... How the heck do you get this? That's insane. Okay, we need to watch out for that. Okay, the ironclads are all stacked at the top of the map, so we move the hell away from them, I think. Got some injuries here, but a nymph can heal them. They attacked me, so I get the first turn. Yeah, I think that's what we do. We just move down here. We can get a big... Because you have Rallying Blessing, don't you? What is this? Oh, yeah. All friendly animals and plants within two hexes get five strengthened. That's amazing. Kaleth doesn't count as an animal, right? No, it's a big old dragon. Do you count as an animal? Yeah. This is the guy with resurgence, I think. And that guy doesn't have resurgence. Okay, so let's move you up here. Down here, rather. Kaleth has the passive area of effects regeneration thing going on. Oh, yeah, my pestilent crocodile. It's just like a basic fighter unit, but it does a lot of damage because of thrashing. The damage goes up every time, and it diseases and decays. Very cool. Yeah, get you all next to Kaleth, please, for that sweet, sweet regen. Warden out in front. More slithers coming up. Yeah, all these slithers are animals, so they could benefit from the Awaken thing. Or Nature's Avenger, rather. You guys just run away. don't want to get shot by those ironclads. I'm going to... What is the cooldown on this? Three turns, hey? Okay, use it now. Just start healing that guy up slowly. It does get rid of status effects, which is amazing. Oh yeah, my tier 4 bear. Let's get you in there to get some regen stacks. I moved you too far there, buddy. Get you there, regen stacks. And we may as well get some for... No, Blevin needs to use this. So get the uh, nymph in there, I suppose. Rallying Blessing. 
Now they do have a transmuter there. So a big AoE stun could happen, but the nymph can get rid of it. We also have purifying flame, I think it's called, that can get rid of it. They're all putting an animo in. There's this thing as well. I think this originates from the seal. And all of us count as enemies of the seal, so this isn't for me. This could hit anyone on the map, I think. I wonder if it hits... I wonder if it's three units from each side, maybe. But yeah, there's lots of nasty things in there, like being frozen. Yeah, there it is. They hit me. Okay, we resisted the crud, I think. Oh no, someone got frozen. I see a frozen symbol. Who is it? There. Those slithers got frozen. Is it one turn? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to try the awaken thing. If I can... If I just bring you around here. Bring this wolf here. Bring this wolf here, because you're an animal as well. And... Yeah, the nymph is a plant, so you'll benefit. Do the young dragons count as an animal? No. Dragons are their own thing. You're not a dragon and an animal, by the way. Um, you can't get close enough. But we're going to do this. Ah, the bear. Bear needs to benefit. Crocodile is in range, I think. I need to be very careful with Kaleth. Oh, you could have summoned an animal as well. I'm going to move you out here, Kaleth. Send a bunch of stuff with you, of course. Oh, that guy's frozen. Keep getting those regen stacks. I could have uh, chucked the... Breath out as well for more regen stacks. What is the range on this? Six. Oh man, you could hit there. Okay, that could be nasty. But we've got a nymph. You guys need to keep moving. Just try and drag those ironclads. You need some healing. Is it worth just chucking a heal on you? It's costing 15 casting points. We have 115. This thing is amazing, but it costs 50. Big heal and regain all our action points, but it does berserk you. This for more regen. It's not bad. I think I'm just going to save it for now. We could throw Restoration on you, but I might need that to revive someone. Can you revive Dragon Leaders? Can you revive Leaders with Restoration? I, don't, I can't remember. What was that? Pinning Barrage. Oh, a bunch of immobilizations. And I think we did get at least one stun in there as well. There's the hero with the sword. Bunch of buffs going in. I was hoping the hero with the sword would come charging at us like an idiot. But they have not. I need to look at that hero again as well, that level 13 hero. Ouch, that was painful. Okay, they did charge at us. Yeah, what is going on here? There's so much stuff. Summon... How did you get this? That's crazy. You've got Warding Bond. You've got Raise Undead. Do they have any undead? Do you count as undead? A white wolf? No. Big tier 4 bastard wolf though. You guys are frozen again. I don't know what happened there. You've got a melee attack. It's not... This, uh, you've got restoration as well. That guy needs to die a lot. And mass rejuvenation. May be able to focus down this fella. Now, Kaleth is unable to move, but can throw... Let's throw the animal out first, I think. Got a Thunderbird, I like that. 
Oh, is that a bastion? Bloody hell, they have bastions. Let's do some of that. Can we focus down the bastion? Right, my nymph needs to have these guys moving again, please. There we go. Now, Blevin can shoot from insane range. There we are. Resisted all the things, but we sure did shoot him. You can do your jump right there. Get that hideous stench going. You can try and freeze someone. Can you freeze the Bastion? 43%. Mm. Let's try it. Nope. Got the slow, though. Not a good chance to hit that guy with a poison spit. There's a bunch of stuff coming in now. To be very careful. Crocodile bro. Good. Poison stack. Things are gonna die. I need to accept that things are gonna die, so. Oh, it's a 70% miss. I don't like that. I don't want my pestilent crocodile dying because we got you from that quest chain. And this is the wolf that has resurgence, so I could be a bit more aggro with you, maybe. Oh, you've got first strike. Maybe I attack you then. Maybe we just hang out here and get some regen stacks off Kaleth, my bear. Just keep coming around this way, guys. Stay away from the scary ironclads, please. I think I have to put you there. Can you jump? You can. You hit this guy. Stuff. Puts you on defense mode as well. Young dragon, move. Lots of moving. And oh, you use the uh, you use your summon animal. That's right. Speaking of summon animal, I can summon a crocodile in the back lines, which I think is what I'm going to do. Right here. Give me some of that. Right, Pestilent Crocodile. I think I'm going to send you this way to fight the Bastion, maybe. No, no, no. Stay next to Kaleth. Yes. Who's next? Tide Spirit. Where the hell are you? Oh, over there. Okay, this guy could be really useful, this Storm Spirit against the Iron Class, because they have that Lightning Weakness, or Shock Weakness, whatever it's called. This spirit, this really damaged spirit wolf needs to get next to Kaleth. Which that is, yes. And we end the turn. Who can act? Tell me. I don't see anyone with an action point. But I could be wrong. There's that morale from the... Rallying Blessing and some regen. Oh boy, lots of Strengthened and Fortune. This is going to be painful. Lots of stuns there. I need to use Purifying Flame. There's a big howl from this from the uh, Tier 4 Wolf guy. Slither on Slither battles. So this is like a... You have Materium stuff and Constructs and Dragon stuff. Ouch. Okay, they're fighting my wardens. Ouch. This transmuter's exposed themselves. And luckily we do have a way to get rid of that stun. We 
shot the crocodile good. That's what those ironclads can do to you. That slither's gonna die. Oh, did it use... Did it do slip away there? Oh, it did do slip away. I think it's on fire though, so... Maybe not for too long. Ouch. Oh, this is this thing. Why does it always hit me, damn it? Okay. That sucked. Oh, you will do a lot of damage. What happened to you? Oh, you got stunned. Kaleth got stunned as well. Okay, I definitely need to use Purifying Flame. Does this, this doesn't get rid of... No. Who is actually stunned? Kaleth is... Bird is stunned and frozen. This wolf is stunned. And the crocodile. I don't think I can get this wolf to benefit from the heal though. If I want to unstun everyone. Or would that do it? I think that unstuns everyone. And I could bring you in to benefit as well. Levin needs to get the hell away from all this stuff. Start shooting fools. Oh, you can do a rallying blessing again. Awesome. But I'd much rather you shoot things right now. I can actually blink over here and get a flanking shot on this guy. Blink is so good. And that was a crit as well. Can I hit this guy with... Can I kill this guy without them doing anything back? Oh, could I seduce something? I think I'm just going to use your damage here. Good. And... Nice. Now we use Purifying Flame. Like that. Oh, and I didn't get the wolf. Damn it. That was a bloody point of... Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I think we just continue to run with these guys and try and drag these guys around a bit. I think it's the thing to do. And you're going to have your... Revitalize back next turn, which could be very useful if we get more the uh, status effects and things going on. This guy, are you allowed to run sprint? I don't think it will let you. Probably dead then, isn't it? I guess we try it. Oh, it does give you a little bit. I don't know if we can save you though, buddy. Let's turn you around. Is it worth even putting you on defense mode? You have zero defense. It's all sundered, yeah. Just try and get a poison or something then, buddy. This guy's burning. But that would remove two of their regen. Good. I like that. Wait, oh, I didn't I didn't hit this Thunderbird either with it. Well that was a stupid cast. There. Get angry. Hang on. Is this gonna hit that guy? No. Rising Fury. That's it. Poison decay and a crit. So he may lose his wolf now. I mean, we may have lost them anyway, but... And this wolf is still stunned. That was so dumb. So very dumb. Keep on spitting at you. Kaleth, I think, just does this. Which is a whole bunch of regen. And that hero is almost dead. You're diseased. But I think... You didn't get poisoned and decayed because of your regen or something. 
and I've swallowed it up. Dragon can't get anywhere. Pestilent crocodile can't get anywhere. You're maxed out on your regen. So... Why does it say three and then five times? Three turns, okay. So we're just going to send you this way. You don't need more regen from Kaleth, is what I meant. You do, so you're going to stay here. Snow Spirit. You're threatened. Oh, you've used this already. I thought it was because you were threatened. I can do this. You're going to die. But you can kill that transmuter. You can kill the knights. Both these wardens might just get shot to death next turn. But you got some good kills, fellas. We salute you. And if I wasn't so dumb with my cast there, I would have had more units that could attack. Or do something. Move. More regen. Love, love all that. That was pinning barrage, marking and immobilizing and damaging. Yeah, they got lots of area of effect stuff. Good thing we have that area of effect healing, eh? I think we are going to do more healing instead of press the crocodile summoning. Loading in shots. Awakened. Ouch. Okay, down goes one warden. That guy might also go down. He grazed my... Yeah, there he goes. Grazed my little fella. My little slither friend. So he didn't die. Oh, there he goes. He's dead now. How did you hit me? What did you hit me with? That was a graze. That's good. Did the 21 damage, though. But we are quite tough with our with the enchantments we have. I think you just killed something there, did you? I think in the old age, didn't it? I think I think in Planetfall it showed units that died on the right side there, so you could kind of track what was dying. Do I want to revive anything now? I don't think so. I think we need to keep fighting. Oh, you're bloody... Okay. This should get rid of a bunch of the pinning, immobilization crud and marks and things. Yes, now we can move. But where do we move? Look at all this stuff. It might be time for you. Where's that big golem that they had? They're back there. Because you're really bad news for the uh, Storm Spirit and stuff because they're large. It might be time to try and seduce something. 29%. Well, if we fail it, they get distracted, I think. Yes. So that's good. Can you die? Ooh, we can almost die a lot to my bear. I like that. And then you can maybe, yes, get a kill. Beautiful. You're all tier twos over here. Crunch you. Kill ya. Oh, don't graze there. Come on now. Yeah, I need to heal here again, I think. Is it time for awakened instincts? I mean, I'd, I'd have to, like, rush in and use up their actions to, to have it be worthwhile to get the actions back, you know? You're going to come and crack this guy. I think it is time to teleport this guy. Back here. Electrify and, yeah, do big damage to the Ironclad. Now that you have some separation from the Golem, you could go in on this Slither. So you can't jump right now. 
That hero is a big problem. Would love to get onto the ironclad though, start taking them down. Just wondering if I commit Kaleth here, because I'm still very afraid of the ironclads all doing this. And just one shot in him on the turn, you know? This would be a great time to have exhilarating roar. I'd love to land here with Kaleth and do a big tail swipe. This is the guy with resurgence. So he could maybe send you in through the fire. Oh, this bear's in my way. Need to go through two fire to get there. Wait, are you poisoned and stuff? You're bleeding, you're diseased, you're poisoned, so you should die at the end of your turn. And I mean, how much can you do? You can't do much, so we're just going to ignore you. Pestilent Crocodile is going to stay out the fire and hit that guy. And we're going to start spitting at these fellas with the spears, I think. don't think I am going to use the Awaken Instinct thing, because I want to keep Kaleth back. Oh, we still have this young dragon, that's right. Don't really want to send you next to the spear guy, do I? You might get shot to death, but it's better than Kaleth getting shot to death. Yeah, maybe I send you here, you could do a tail swipe. Hit both of those. Nice. Which means a bunch more damage here. And a death. Oh no, slip away. Damn you. This is the guy that doesn't have Guardian uh, Resurgence, whatever it's called. So we're going to do this. Big heal. And then... Are you poisoned and stuff? You... Oh, you're decaying and poisoned and diseased. So yeah, you're dead. You can't do much damage. I'm going to send you in here. This will be a flank. Very good. Kaleth. I'd love to commit you. Would love it. I'm very afraid of your ironclads. They may not all be able to hit Kaleth. Well, this guy with the resurgence, I'm just going to commit you to the ironclad attack. Like that. It's just that I'm not sure if I can revive him. I don't think you can revive dragon leaders. you here and we're going to start putting damage on Kaleth has been committed to that side only 20 casting points left I can't summon another crocodile I can't do another purifying flame thing I do have individual unit heals though ouch lava burst lots of burning bloody hell oh they revive their hero with restoration. I think I remember someone on Reddit saying you can't use restoration on dragons. Ouch. Maybe I'm wrong. Loading in ammo. If they move, they're going to take a bunch of damage. Ouch. Leave my bloody crocodile alone. I had to go through the whole Primal quest chain to get that guy. You got poisoned on hitting me. Good. That wasn't too bad. Oh, they shot my spirit. Not the storm spirit, though. And a bunch of stuff died to poison and things, I think. And of course, that crud hits me again. 
Has it hit the enemies at all? I don't know if it bloody has. I don't suppose any of you have your heal back. No. You can seduce. Kaleth can almost kill that guy. You just smack him. You come in... on this guy, I think. The dragon piles in as well. Excellent. And we can use Blevin, maybe, to get the kill. And you're flying, so you don't take... It looks like if you end your turn, you get fire. But I can kill you as well. I think I'd rather use the damage on that. And that. Superb. Okay. Need some healing over here. My bear, I think, should be healed. I don't suppose you have Fury of the Maya Crocodile. You soon do, so I could get you it. And get you a bigger heal. Boom. There we go. Which... Does that. Superb. You can murder this bastard again. Excellent. We are messing morale up. Some of them are wavering, I think. Still afraid of that golem or my storm spirit. And you're a charge unit, so I can move you around. Still get full damage. Kaleth. Aha! We have a thing. To get some heals and stuff. I can't get that. I think that elemental is just going to die. Wait, let's move you up first. Can you seduce or dominate anyone? Not super well. Just try and get decaying on you. Damn it. Spirit Wolf. Which one are you though, Spirit Wolf? You are the resurgence one. Just do that. These guys can all still move up and shoot stuff. Excellent. You come and help out my crocodile, I think. Oh, you're running. This crocodile will be running. Just pile in at that damage. Look at that damage from the thrashing and stuff going on. And you have to go through a bunch of fire here. Dang it. Uh, warding, I suppose, on a bunch of stuff, and you're going to do your breath. There. Maybe I should do it. I do want to hit Kaleth with it. I think I want, would rather all of the regen than the actual damage there. Because they're running. Even the hero is wavering now. Yeah, it's just the ironclads that are a problem. And they are a big problem. If they all shoot Kaleth and get a couple of crits, maybe, they'll just die. Okay, we are at max health. We should be fine on, on Kaleth. Oh, that guy is running. I don't want him to escape, though. Yeah, killed my elemental. Ouch. Can we kill that hero? Oh, they are wavering. I thought Constructs didn't care about morale. No, they just, they just take far less morale damage, that's all. They still run away. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, Blevin. I don't 
to revive the Thunderbird. That's a Nymph. That's a Slither. That's a Summon Crocodile. Ancestral Warden. Yeah, I think I'd like the Ancestral Warden back. The Slither back is also really great. But I can't reach that Warden right now. That would need to be next turn. Let's blink. In case these fools trying to shoot me. Do you have your jump? Yeah, maybe you can reach that hero. You guys can maybe sprint as well. Alright, oh, I need to deal with this. You can munch on this guy. You've got some burning stacks, so you should die. This golem's a problem. Well done. Dragon. I guess move up towards this. Kaleth can't quite get there. Just murder that guy. That's fine. And you can't reach that. Nice. Is that a kill? It is. And then we can try this 50-50. I could sprint you. Yes. Don't think... We can't kill you though, I don't think. No, you don't have a shot. He's gonna get away. Stand next to Kaleth. Next time we got to remember to revive a thing. Do not freeze Blevin. Do not claim victory. Oh, wait, wait, you need to move. my warden back. Can we kill that thing? Is it more damage to do that or one of these attacks? Looks like one of these. Crunch. Crunch. Ooh, they may get away here. Any other range? Oh, we can get Blevin. Oh, no, we can't. They just revived. Ah, oh, this Slither. 45%. There we go. The Graze was good enough. Victory! Okay, we only lost four units. That could have gone way, way worse. Backing the hell away from the Ironclads, I think, really worked for us. 165 gold. The hero got away, which really sucks. But they never summoned that spider, did they? Hmm. Do not bloody retry it. I assume these guys are not going to attack us now. Oh, they did. Risky. Oh, they do have a dragon, I guess. Let's see what the auto does. I think Kaleth just leveled, but I can't... I can't give them stuff. They lost a bunch of units. Just gotta hang back and use all of my healing here. Okay. Eleven. Just gonna run you up. 
Next time we'll use your restoration on something. Maybe on this guy. Get close to Caleth. Get close to Caleth. All that. There, can't get close enough. Now where do I shoot this? I think like that. Where's my... This is my only nymph now. Lots of regen. Oh, I could have got that slither next to Kaleth as well, maybe. Lots of very nice healing. Okay. I'm gonna use I'm still gonna use restoration on you because you might get hit by this crud. This elemental bane nonsense. the summon animal quite yet. Everything gathered around for some lovely region. Yeah, the storm spirit very important against this enemy with their ironclads. I guess they have ironclads and dragons and things. Which is interesting. Everyone in a big pile of hit points. They're not using spells, are they? Doesn't seem like they're using... Oh, there we go. Just as I say that, they immolate me. That's not that much. There's the dragon breath. Kill me, crocodile. They spent a, a bunch of actions doing it. Okay. Alright, we can do the breath again. Let's summon an animal. Summon it first to see what we get. Is a unicorn. Can you kill Blevin? Not quite. All right, we could do this now. Surround you with slithers. And that bear is in range, the crocodile's in range, the nymph is in range. The wolves, I think, are in range. I think that's worth. Beautiful. Although they did proc draconic rage as well. You move up there. Maybe a risky spot for you, but we'll see. This is the resurgence guy. Start putting damage on this thing. Very good damage, in fact. Oh, you're stuck behind people, you did. Crocodile. Bear. We'll move the bear around here, I suppose. Crocodile. It's there. Storm Spirit. Well, 
don't think I'm gonna teleport you there just for that. Now, is this a good is this a good spot here for awakened instincts? Or is it crazy? Do I just summon another crocodile? Might be enough to murder the dragon, assuming they attack the dragon. Is it two hex? It's two hex. Very tempted to do that. Also gets the slither. This would get the crocodile. Let's do that and get the slither. So they're going to be berserk. Done. Okay, I spent 50 casting points to, to kill the dragon, basically. Who else is going on? Who's this? Where are you? Oh, you. I could jump you, I suppose, over here. It does expose you quite a lot. Let's not do that, because they do have some dangerous ranged units over there. This slither. Ah, I can shoot. You're just going to die to poison, I think. Don't think I want to move you. And that's me turn. Just go. Hitting barrage again. Ouch. Zephyr shot. It didn't use petrify. Ow. You burn their own guy to do that. A lot of damage on my bear, you bastards. A lot of damage on that guardian spirit as well. Oh, they got him. Okay, need to heal my bear. Oh look, it does hit it does hit the enemies. These guys are still berserks. Ouch. Oh, I got my bear killed. Why? Oh, because they had multiple um, retaliations, I think. Dang it. I can do this, which is pretty effective. Ah. Oh, no, you got frozen. You have your... Nope. You're immobilized. Mobilized. You can move. I don't think, yeah, purifying burst or whatever it's called, flame. It's only one hex radius, so let's just summon. So I was going to get rid of those immobilized. Just summon a crocodile. Lost my tier 4 bear. Very, very sad. Because restoration's once per battle, right? <coughs> yes. Yeah, let's go into melee. Boom. You can't move. You can do a jumpy jump. try to dominate the Zephyr Archer. That would be fun. Because then I could keep them after the battle, I think, if I pay. You're immobilized, it seems. Okay. The Zephyr Archer might just run. They're all very low. Okay. Can I reach you? I don't think I can. I'm trying to seduce you. 60%. Nope. Not interested. Unicorn did really well for us. No, do not let them run. All the XP for me. 
using you to come and spit on them. There we go. Oh, I lost the bear. That sucked. Was it worth using the berserk for that? 90 gold. We're now very close to getting that hero. Maybe I can sell some stuff. Oh, wait, I should get the thing at the start of my turn, right? And I can send the hero right down here. Whose turn is it now? It's now Mariel. Blade Hollow has been vassaled by them. And they are defending this seal a lot. Now, my other plan was to come up here and try and steal this... Well, not steal it, but get this silver tongue fruit with Cedric using an outpost. If I can destroy that stack, it is. What is Cedric's stack like? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Cedric himself is quite strong, too. Looks like Nisara is taking stronghold. Now, as my vassal... With me being the overlord, they should say, hey, do you want this city? But they don't. Oh, there's this thing. Oh, wait. They moved before Pitriv did. Damn it. And they spawned more guys there. Well, this is not a battle worth fighting, I don't think. That frees up a bunch of upkeep, but I wanted that stack to go back home. Pitriv, can you do this? You did you, I don't think they killed anything. Damn it. Big, big fail there. Big, big fail. Hostile Silverstrad. Claimed province has been captured. Okay. Borders required. All right. You're on the seal, fellas. There's Nisara himself. Herself? Whatever it is. I don't know what you're doing there. Okay, we have one stack on that seal. That's not very good, is it? And I can't afford to spawn the bandits in at the moment. I did get the... Yeah, you're going to go here. I did build that thing, though. And I can get the hero. Let's get the hero first. Before I forget. Comes with a tier 2 lance, which I don't want to use. Recruit. At the Great Swamp, but we want to send you here. Now take your three turns. And I'm going to reset your skills and stuff. We want you to be a tank. Defense up, poison weapons up, fighting up, defense two. I'm going to get you some resistance and some vigor. And inspiring leader to reduce things. Maybe we give you some support stuff as well. Sentinel for sure. I can't just get resistance too easily, eh? So I don't want any of stuff. Can get vigor too. They give me some more vigor. And then more defense. Sprint is also great, but we'll do that. Confirm. I mean, it might just be summon animal. Mana Unchained is amazing. Demon Step, yeah, we'll take the we'll take the teleport. Yes, and then blink. Draining Blade is good too. Do I have a shield? I must have one. First, I need to give you a one-handed weapon. That's a pistol and a sword thing. Okay. Tier 2 sword here. Tier 2 axe thing. Oh, which gives you Provoke. That's quite nice. This gives you Power Cleave. That's a Lance. That's two-handed, I think. Yeah.
These are all two handy things. Take the provocation thing. But I don't tend to use provocation. Any of these good? Oh, that's nice. Plus three resistance. Or hit points. Oh, that's hit points with damage. Plus three resistance is big, though. I'm going to take that. Got to take that. What about a ring? Slip away is awesome. Vicious killer. Inspiration. It might just be... Is there something of fire resistance on it? Because they were doing quite a lot of fire stuff. There we go. Take that. Um, you can take... That new thing we got. Where is it? Wizard Charm. These are all crappy spiders. There's another wizard charm that we haven't equipped yet, or is it showing me that? I don't know. True sight. I don't rate very well. I guess that's that. Helmets. Helm of the warrior. Good to me. Oh, this is plus two defense, though. We'll take the damage. Health and fire resistance, that's all right. Okay. No leg armor whatsoever. Do we have any fancy mounts? No. I think the unicorn can teleport, yeah. I'm going to take the crocodile, damn it. Confirm. There's Wilf. And give you something that looks a bit more armory. Pose like that, please. Outfit. I guess that one with the... Uh, Arm stuff, at least. There we go. What kind of cape? There we go. That'll do. Wilf heading to the front lines. Now, where's Blevin? Was that a spare charm? No, it was the one that I'd selected on him. Okay, so we got to make a really nice one-handed weapon if we can. So we'll just break a bunch of stuff. Which does hit our income. Will that be enough? We'll see. One-handed. I think this hammer looks quite cool. Or axe, rather. Ooh, death damage. Physical frost and blight. Yeah, it's because I've got two Archon blood. Ooh, lifesteal. Retaliator would be really good as well. Because you've got sentinel. Definitely want the lifesteal, I think. That's Frenzy again. Oh, when you attack, you get strengthened. Yes. Because of two haste berries. That would be the entire thing. But that's nice. Strengthened and lifesteal. And it's only 300. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't even look at the name. Frenzying Club. Oh, it is a club, apparently. Fine. All good. 
You guys wait here. We will have a summon next turn. I don't know where you guys are coming from. Oh, Silverstrad. Oh, that's why I met you, I suppose. You've got two druids of the cycle. What is Nasara going to do now, then? I guess they have to finish capturing Stronghold. Pitriv, unable to get that done, is very annoying. I might have to send these two stacks after it. And just hope they can auto it. Now I want to select you. Stop moving around. Oh, it does drag them all in, though. I'll just hang out here for now. Maybe one will move away. Who's this? We need you up here now, friend. Like that. You guys stay here. You... You healed up. So I'm going to send you towards this. Sacred Root. Alright. We could get you a research post with this thing. But I still need to, I think... Get ready for the impending attack from Procella. So defenses. And that's all me gold. Ah, we're all level, leveled up so we can get you... Is it a, I'm curious if this has an upgrade as well. And it is two hex radius. So, yeah, give me that. Wizard's charm was finished. Yes, it was. We captured this fella. We're not going to grant you freedom. We do have a lot of goodness, so we could execute you. Which gives us your items and stuff. I just need to get a prison first, which I don't have. Oh, because you're doing this. Fair enough. Can I rush it for 35? Nope. Mariel respawned. War has ended. Oh, those guys were all of me. That's right. I can create a new bounty. Now, someone did say I'm not rating the bounties high enough. It's typically because I don't have the resources to put bounties out. I assume they're not cheap. This is viability. Oh, the amount of people that can accept it, maybe? This is capturing outposts, though. Who cares about that? The main has been invaded. Oh, it's just Procella being an idiot. Giving me tons of grievances against them. Can I sell my grievances to you? Because there's so many. How many of these will you buy? Because I need cash. Okay, they won't do anymore. And we still have major justification. Haha! -ha. So now I can do a thing. I think all my cities are busy, though. It does mean... Oh, you aren't. Avernus. Anything worth you getting, though? Need a quarry for that. You're kind of out of the way. There's no seals down here. Got a hundred fortification, so I think we're just going to leave you to merchandise. Does it tell me how much it's given me? 36 gold. It's not very much, is it? The Great Swamp. Okay, we can rush that. We don't have any nature spells that target enemies, right? We don't have any damage or debuff spells at the moment. So this does nothing. We could get even more food. Prison. 
can do that. And I can Garden of Blissed up as well. For even more stability and food. We do have farms here, so I could get more draft per farm. You're gonna produce a Glade Runner. And Swamp is gonna produce a Warden. Next turn I can get the, the Swamp Bandits in. Channeling Tower's great. More Domain Invaded. Procella. There's loads of it. So many. We're already up over an hour. I did one turn. Two turns? One turn. Are you guys going to attack me? I'd love you to attack me so I'd get gold for murdering all this stuff. Sara still doing this stronghold stuff. Can I just demand cities from them? That would be nice. They shouldn't they shouldn't be allowed to refuse any of my thing any of my demands. I mean that should be how it works. I don't have the city cap though for it. I need to save up a bunch of turns for that. Because it'd be like eight hundred now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I need like many many turns unless I've got some events this is pro seller's turn they didn't declare on me because I think that would have popped up immediately but this seal is not safe although we just killed the stuff on it last turn I'm not sure all oh, right you attacked me it says low risk we might lose some stuff Ooh, we lost a Druid of the, Druid of the Cycle, a, a Legend Wyvern. I might need to retry this. I think Urstaker got level 16 there. I probably should have run down the other stack and just left one unit on the seal. Okay. Full on dragon here, which is damaged. What do you have? Oh, you have all of the heals in the world. That's right. So, we'll do that. Oh, that's probably a bad target because you don't have the Fury of the Maya Crocodile mechanic. I guess we focus, focus up. Yeah, my tier 2 spider. Please become a tier 4 spider soon. Can I see how much XP you have? Oh, you don't have much in this, on this rank. Legendary Wyvern. I'm just going to wait for them to move in. And try all of their sinking crud. <laughs> they sink Urstaker. It's a big problem. They did weird moves, actually. Sure. Let's get some regen going. Heal up that dragon a bit more. Need these guys to come towards me, please. They do have 196 hit points. That's pretty good. Mythic units don't benefit from any enchantments, though, I think. It would be great if you could get mythic enchantments. But they are very, very strong, of course, without them. Don't 
don't want to move up too far. Uh, we'll move the archer up there. That'll do. Fence modes and wardings. Okay, here we go. These guys are coming in. Spawning little ghosts. Shield wall? Who gave you shield wall? Oh, this guy. Crocodile time. Oh, that kraken's really low. No, it's not a kraken. Put you here. Murder. Bunch of slows. Oh, that hits my ally. Hits my dragon bud. Did not get the stun. Maybe. Yes, you can do. That thing. Now you to get closer and not hit my friend. I don't know if that was worth using that whole ability. No real healing needed. I could sprint up here and shoot something or just give warding defense I think I'm going to do that too dangerous to move you up these guys can't be sunk which is nice they're also going to take a whole bunch of damage Definitely don't want my spider to get sunk. Oh, they could sink my bloody horned god. Earthsticker does have... Restoration? No, they do not have restoration. What the hell is this? Under a crappy little animal. I'm gonna, probably going to conjure the elemental next turn. Do I send these guys in? Can they survive? 20 damage per hit. They could get focused down and destroyed. Especially with that ship there. Archer. Any chance you could... Yes, you can. Well done. Spider don't move. Warden... Gotta try and move up. Gotta try. I think I'm gonna go for this here. Oh, this is the wyvern, not a, not a young dragon. Just go on defense, buddy. I want them to not try to sink my boats and rather hit my dragons and wyverns and things. 43% chance of decay. And we got it. You'll be ready to heal and also provide some resistance. Good. So far, alright. Ish. Intimidation didn't work. Didn't intimidate the giant octopus. You're gonna do your scream. Well, that's fine. So is that. Much rather that than those guys charge into me because they do a lot of damage. Resisted two pulls of the deep. Resisted three, but took tons of damage.
We survived. I think we survived. You need a huge amount of healing. Just murder you. So that you can do this. Where is Urstika? Urstika is in a bad spot. I think he got shoved around by stuff. What the heck am I shooting at here? Oh, a Kraken. Do it. Very good. Warden, can you kill it? No. You start fighting that guy. I don't want to spend a bunch of damage to kill him. Kill? No. Now you, I think I'm just gonna run away. I was gonna heal ya. But I'd rather use that on a crocodile, I think. Crocodiles. Oh, they get disease on that thing. Oh, Estaco already used a sprint. Doesn't look like we're taking damage if we move, but we can't really get anywhere. But I could stab this guy to death. Which frees up the dragon to do cool dragon stuff. Hmm. Not dead though, are ya? Who am I? Who's this? Young golden dragon. I don't like the spot you're in, dragon friend. Just go on defense. Please, Urstika, live. Who can still go? Nobody has an action point. Why is it lying to me? Oh, it's the Warden, you idiot. Right. Yes, kill you. Would have been great if you could have got through to the Kraken. Okay, Urstak had regen going on, so she should be okay. Okay. Insanity on something. Ouch. of damage on me dragon. Glad I defended. Okay, I think everything's alive. You've gone insane. Not cool. Oh, I should have used your mark first. Still can't kill that thing, eh? Spider can do it. Good. A 
start getting damage on this stupid boat. Is that crack and wavering? Looks like it. That's a good hit. You can't get a good hit on the Kraken though. You might just have to stay on defense. I'd like to give these guys the warding. Try and get decay on that guy. Yeah. Now you on only 38 hit points. Could be in trouble. You're a young dragon though, which means you have evolve. Which gives you resurgence. Excellent. Is that this? Yes, excellent. I think we're okay. The druid is still really low. They're going to keep spawning these bloody ghosts. Done. They are done. That's not a kill. Go go spider. Well done. Retaliation. Summoning another crocodile, I suppose. Where's my summon? There you are. Ooh, big fire summon. So close to death. might get charged by it, yeah, and take a big chunk of damage, but you'll be alright. Can you please... Yes. Die. Well, these guys are wavering. Crocodile. I'm gonna die in retaliation, but I guess it's okay. Just get some damage in.
You should be able to take a charge, I think. Yeah, you can take a charge. They may kill my dragon, but he's got resurgence. Hopefully he still get XP then. Good. I decayed the ghost ship. Anyway, you can get two hits on this thing. Seems like no. Don't want to waste their damage. Ah, oh, we can waste your damage. It's not very much. There you go. to be able to position this guy where they can hit them both. There we go. Can we kill that guy in time? Dang it, maybe not. You just keep shooting that guy. <coughs> mm. You don't need to heal yourself. I can't summon any more crocodiles, unfortunately. So that guy's going to run away, I think. Balls. Into that XP. Go spider. It's a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Technically lost nothing. I don't know if they got XP, though. Did get a level on Urstica. 16. And champion dragons. And the spider evolved, I think. And 120 gold. There's that spider. Yeah. Tier 4 hunter spider matriarch. Good melee damage, big old web, two hex cone now. 120 hit points. Jump. Alright. A brutal glaive. It's just a spear. Paramancer Staff of Healing is on level 1. A little Kraken spawn. And some stuff. I'll take it. What the hell are you guys doing here? Oh, Pentacle. Mariel's vassal. I feel like Mariel's been hanging around here with those armies for a while. What are they up to? Who are you? Oh, you're my hero. You're Wilf. Yes, uh, continue on your journey. Can you just put outposts on the water? I don't think you can, can you? No. So we can't get a teleporter out here. You are an outpost, so we can get work camp for this thing. Which does give us mana. And we need that. These guys stepping out again. They are getting harassed by vassals, but these guys... 
Yeah. Stand here so you're healing. Same with you fellas. But you're both in range. Oh, those guys, yes. Good. They can repair their own things, I'm sure. These are all good. Who are you? Oh. Little spider bro. You live there now. Cedric. We'll get big healing here. Oh no, apparently not. Because I'm in the water? Whatever. We have a cr Oh, is it because I annex something? So I get a free animal. It's a tier one thing, but you're going to go and defend. You guys just stay here. Could attack this to get some XP. Need to put some stuff in your army. There you go. And that. And this. And then I want to use Awaken the Forest. That's a forest. I don't think I ever used this before. I'll try and do that. Oh, that's a really annoying fight. I'm not going to bother with that. B9 6P. Exhilarating pollen. Oh, a bunch of morale. And enemy units can get distracted. Alrighty. Parting gifts. Yeah, this is something you use in a really bad fight. Flamer focus. Firebomb to battle mages. I only have one battle mage. Divine prison any good? They can immobilize. Nah. Give me flamer focused. We got our prison. So we can execute some fools. And... Give me the Garden of Bliss. Thirty-six food we'd get. Pretty nuts. Let's do it. Is there some more? That's twenty-three. Does give us more food though. Do that. Replace the forester. Is there anything we needed a bunch of foresters for? No. Warden next turn. Oh, here I leveled up. Right. Level 16. Visions of Woe is good. Ah, restoration. Yeah. Give me that. As for this... Oh, hey. More stability in your city. Do that. I don't know what your city is, but you do have one. You're denouncing Nisara. Priscilla invading my domain again. Infestation? Send in forces? Where? Why would you send them to me? A bunch of other players in your way. Once we once we heal up, it might be worth hitting Stone Tree. But then we'd have to abandon the seal because I lost that freaking stack over there. You have more gold, so please produce more units. This place is really bad at producing units. Give me a Three turn primal charger, then. Ah, we can get the swamp bandits in. Give them. Where are they? What did we get? A dark knight? A dark knight? A defender? Daylight spear? And an arcane guard? It's not bad. You need to come up here.
end that turn. Anything from Garika? Surely we crunched them pretty badly there. It would be great to be able to move on to Smoggen. There's Pebbleton's right there, which is their capital. Hello. Oh, hey. It is Levate showing up with a full... No heroes, but lots of scary things. Bunch of tier 4s, bunch of tier 5s. Bunch of tier 3s. Let's see how the auto does. We win. Lost some stuff. I might just take that, though. I think I'm going to take that. Need more units on the front lines. Need more units everywhere all the time. If it lets me use this just on any forest anywhere, that is amazing. Definitely use that a bunch. It's Procella's turn, who continues to run around in my territory. Oh, dang it. How did they summon stuff so quickly? There's no way we can win this. Just this army would destroy us. Well, they killed a couple of things. I'm not going to try and redo it. They respawned really fast, eh? Maybe it's because a new a new player went on it. Hopefully Mariel takes it and not Procella. Bunch of independent combat going on. Well, I don't think my bandit army can deal with that. We do have you guys to join them. Yeah, that's tough. This stupid crow as well. We... No, we got to keep three armies there. Avernus, you need to be producing units now, my friend. So maybe we do get you an armory up. I'll get you an armory. And give me an animist. Yeah, I lost a seal. Am I still winning? I think I'm still winning. Yeah, but it's now 29 turns. Balls. Get yourself over there, Wilf. Almost there. Cedric. It's a hell of an army. Should be able to take it though, I think. I'd really like that silver ton fruit. Speaking of, how are we doing at Rampart? Are we neck and neck or did they just drop out of the race? I'm not sure. It's not let me boost it though. Not sure if I even get that silver tongue fruit in time. So I need to build the outpost and then. Now, if I build the outpost on this, I immediately get the benefit, right? Give me that. So that should be. Yeah, now we can attack with the frost wyvern. But that'll be next episode. It's going to take me a while to be able to get that seal back, I think. I would pull some stuff off here, but then... I might be able to pull one stack off it. Because usually they throw like eight units at you, I think. Oh, but there's some... Mental, uh, I can't risk losing that. We do have an ancestral warden. Joins that crow. 
You need to be producing another unit, please. Such as... Our dragon. Sure. You guys stay here. Lavarte still has a stack here. And, oh, were you from the seal? Oh, you might have been from the infestation. Don't lose my low health dragon there, please. Well done. 54 gold as well. Get back to friendly territory. Yeah, this low health dragon needs to get back over there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you guys have a bloody crocodile then as well. You guys wait. You guys got to wait because I can't deal with this for now. Swamp Thicket can annex. We can also rush this. Got no more gold for stuff though. That requires two farms. So maybe we should chuck a farm down somewhere. 13 farm. Yeah. Give me my swamp farm. Gives us a Razorback. Good. Can't afford anything else, I don't think. Nope, not even catapult towers. Remains collected. Nothing good, but it doesn't mean I can sell and I can execute some of these guys. Is it minus five? Yeah. Murder them all. Superb. 800 gold out of that. Speaking of gold. Give me this, please. You're getting armory, you're getting Garden of Bliss, which may be superfluous. We already have a lot of food coming in, but more food is more good because we get animals every time we expand. Don't need a crypt. What does this do? Bunch of range. Vision. I guess we go into defenses after that. I don't think I'm going to rush it though. I can rush this beacon of valor. No, it's 242 gold to rush it. Oh, you're going to... You can annex next turn as well. Everyone is doing something. Rush that for 70. Yeah, do that. Do that. Mint. Academy as well as good. Okay. That is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Not sure what's going to happen with Procella. Got to build up a bit and get the seal. Got to reinforce down here. Figure out what Cedric is up to. I guess they try and get this and then head back south. And try and push against Stone Tree as well at some point. But we need reinforcements on the front line. And that'll be next time. See you then.